article comes from the Electronic Frontier Foundation, and it's titled Apple's Crystal Prison and, and the Future of Open Platforms. I found this article via during Fireball, and during Fireball basically didn't like the analogy of a prison, which... Um, well, in a lot of ways it is, because basically what Apple's created there is saying you can't have open source, you can't have GPL, you can't have any of this stuff. Are we, well, I mean... No, that the terms and conditions of Apple's marketplace and their locked sandbox system basically says you can't have any of that. Even Microsoft wrote a clause into the Windows 8 marketplace where they said, if you are using GPL, any provisions of our marketplace which conflict with the terms of the GPL are mooted for the purposes of you being allowed to use the GPL. Uh, you know, Apple, on the other hand, says, fuck open source. <laughs> well, no, they, Apple has a tremendous amount of open source, and I'd say more so than Microsoft. But he, here, here's, here's Gruber's response. He says, I support the uh, EFF on the whole, but particularly with regard to the First Amendment, uh, they're losing it with the prison analogy. The analogy doesn't work, is what he's saying. Prison is an unpleasant to say at the least place and prisoners are not allowed to leave. If you own an iPhone or iPad, you can sell it or throw it in the trash or whenever you want. True, everyone sees this. If you want to go with the room and board analogy, I'd say something more like a strict uh, condominium board is more apt than a prison or a long-term stay hotel. And the hotel, in, in Hotel Apple, everything is very, now this is his work, okay? So let me finish reading. In, in the Hotel Apple, everything is very nice, looks cool, smells good, everything is clean, and looks like new. Everything but is very hoity-toity. Let me finish. Let me finish. Uh, because he's got to get the whole thing out. All right. Um, but you're not allowed to move the furniture around, and you're not allowed to bring in outside food that hasn't been approved by Apple. You can leave whenever you want, but most people enjoy it very much and are happy to stay. Now, the the... The whole room and board analogy is not a good one, so let's stop stretching it. But my point is that people choose to buy an iPhone. No one chooses to go to prison. And if, you're, if, and if you happen to be in a situation where you're forced to use an iPhone or iPad by your school or work, say it's highly unlikely that any alternative platform they might have issued uh, you would be any less locked down. Now, there's a couple problems that I have with that. First of all, uh, I like the chat. To... Welcome to the hotel, Corpertino. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 the whole thing about school or work, Gruber is right. But I hate why he, he specifically used that because he damn well knows that, yes, if it's issued by a school or work, it's their rules. That context has nothing to do with how the Apple ideology, you know, the whole ideology uh, that, this, that is Apple functions. I will not let him get away with that excuse. Of course, that is like an outside argument to the context of what is, is being said. I can bring in my, RIM, RIM is notorious for allowing lockdowns. WebOS, if it were WebOS, if, if the company states the rules because it's their property, as he's saying, by your school or work, it's their property. It's not yours. You're following the school's work, and it doesn't matter. It's the least common denominator, regardless of the platform. Whatever they choose, of course, will be locked down. So we're going to wipe that entire statement out because it has nothing to do with the context of, of, of really what, what, what the argument comes down to. Now, I will say that there is consumer choice, and we have been arguing video after video that a hell of a lot of that consumer demographic Oh, well, I, 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 I want to put a caveat on that. I, well, I want to put a caveat on that, and that is, okay, his argument has validity, and it pains me to say this, and that, yes, the consumer is choosing their indentured servitum to Apple. However, I would argue the majority of the consumer doesn't realize just how much they're making that choice. They, they are ignorant 
and and so many levels as to what do you mean Apple won't let me have any of this free software? What do you mean Apple won't let my device do this? What do you what do you mean Apple is the thing that's keeping this from being over here? What do you mean Apple is the reason my Pandora wasn't running in the background? What do you mean Apple is the reason that the next flip Netflix app that just came out on iPad that Android has had for how long now, and, and so on and so on and so forth. I mean, the list <laughs> goes on. But the the reality is, the majority, the vast majority of the consumers are blissfully ignorant to these facts. So to them, it's well, Apple is our savior for giving us for you mean Apple Apple got out of the way for once. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Um, if, if the consumer was better educated and really realized all these things were going on, I would say his analogy is dead spot on. Unfortunately, the consumer's ignorance kind of voids that in a lot of ways because they don't have a clue until after the fact. And then that is like prison. You know, it wasn't, they didn't voluntarily choose to make that barter. They found out later they made a Faustian deal. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 the Gruber, the, the, I, I, he's, he's, he's taking the context out for the prison. They're not using prison, obviously, as incarceration and you can't leave, but the, the, we use prison as, as a means of defining, uh, defining a border that you cannot, you cannot penetrate out of. You know, actually, right? I think the and, chat room nailed it better. They said it's a gated community. Because that is kind of the case. Yeah, people right. think that sounds great. If you ever spend a tremendous amount of time in a gated community, you're like, how the hell do I get out of here? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> well, let's just take a look at what this article is saying. It's saying, uh, two weeks ago, Steve Wozniak made a public call for Apple to open its platforms for those who wish to tinker. See? Tweak and innovate with their internals. EFF supports Wozniak's position. So this is the real context, right? While Apple's products have many virtues, they are marred by an ugly set of restrictions on what users and programmers can do with them. I, for one, can tell you, it has been a slow and long, painful process. Each version of iOS that comes out, we get a little more. I can just tell you that is true, but well, I Apple, emphasize a little more. They don't really have a choice in that because if they don't do that, it, they'll lose the entire market. Right. I mean, they, they have right. to acknowledge but, everybody else is giving them this. We kind of have to give them some of it. But see, I yeah, like I how EFF say, is I mean, spot Android's on. Features this before is most iOS did. So, I mean, and iOS is about to be playing catch-up all the time for the last few releases. Yeah. Well, this is, and I like how EFF targets this specifically, because I would argue OS X has a lot of tinkering um, uh, pretty much allowed, but this is why EFF goes into, this is most especially true of iOS. The other Apple products sometimes suffer in the same way. In this article, we will delve into the kinds of restrictions that Apple phone companies and Microsoft have been imposing on mobile computers, the excuses these companies make when they impose these restrictions, the dangers this is creating for open innovation, and why Apple in particular should lead the way in fixing this mess. We also propose a bill of rights that need to be secured for people who are purchasing smartphones and other pocket computers. Um, I just think this is great. It's a very long article. Uh, yeah, we'll put a link to it when we publish on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, you can post it in the chat, I guess. Um, but no, it, it, you know, I like uh, later in this article they go into some questionable things, but I kind of see where they're going here, where they're pointing out that you know uh, some of this lockdown is beginning to come to OS X, and it, this I, I was I was convinced it was a matter of time. Now I think they're exaggerating what Gatekeeper is just a little bit. Uh, yeah, they are. It, it, but, uh, but.